Hello everyone, my name is Ard and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at LEGO Star Wars set number 75372. This is the 215 piece Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. Uh, so this came out January 1st, 2024, um, and is a, um, I guess the second sort of super battle pack where it's sort of the contents of two battle packs combined together. One thing about this one, over the last one, which was the 501st, is I feel like it actually is two battle packs combined. I feel like the content in here feels like two battle packs worth and not one and a half, um, which I feel like looking back at it, the 501st battle pack sort of had it. So this one has nine figures, three super battle droids, um, two normal battle droids, um, three normal phase two clones, which is the new part of the set. Also, the super battle droids are new as well, but, um, and the shock trooper, which came in the, um, uh, Coruscant Guard gunship, and I'm sure we're going to see it again. So on the back, you can see some different, uh, shots of it. You've got the tri-droid on the side of the box, um, Christophsis on the, uh, in the background, which I think is a cool addition. And yeah, so I'll take a closer look at everything uh, and all the contents of this set. And uh, yeah, I'm right off the bat, I'm really impressed with this set. Um, the phase two clones are better than I thought they'd be. Um, they just, I'm less bothered by, maybe I'm just grown accustomed to it at this point where it doesn't really bother me. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy with this set. And I was surprised by how much of course, they're not great, but how much I sort of like the clone builds. Like, they're not good, but they weren't as bad as I thought they were, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'll take a closer look at the set now. So here are the contents of the set laid out. My first reaction to seeing all these contents once I had built the set, so I was pretty satisfied with it. I thought that it had some substance to it and it felt complete and everything in the set of course the clone builds are a little disappointing but it all sort of felt complete and substantial and the complete package feels like you're getting a very good value especially from other sets uh, of course this is a 45 dollars set your normal battle packs cost or $40 set, the normal battle packs are costing you $25. So when you look at the last one with the 330 second clones, once I had built that, it felt sort of empty with it. You know, you're left with this little swamp speeder build, not much of a turret, and then your four clones, which aren't overly great. Um, and you don't really have the best experience. Whereas this one, I feel really quite happy with it. Um, I'll take a closer look at everything, but I think the plain phase two clones are done uh, well. Um, I like the new Super Battle Droid mold. I haven't really ever had any issues with cracking with my Super Battle Droids, but these do feel stronger and the connections feel better. Um, I think the inclusion of the Shock Trooper is a nice one to get a few more of those. Um, and of course, getting more Battle Droids is nice as well. I think the Tri Droid build is well done, and I think the Stat build is one of my favorites from this, and I'll probably build at least that from every copy that I buy of this set. Um, so I'll take a closer look at the figures, the builds, then give you my final thoughts on it. So here are your nine figures included in the set suit. Three super battle droids, two uh, normal battle droids, shock trooper, three normal phase two clones. Starting with the shock trooper here, or sorry, the uh, super battle droid. It is a new mold. It definitely looks very similar to it, but I feel like the connections are stronger at all points. Um, you've also got like a little uh, hole there, a little dimple there where you've got, I believe, the red light of the Super Battle Droid, which I think is a cool inclusion. And overall, it just feels like a stronger and well done um, new Super Battle Droid mold. Uh, there are two variations with these Battle Droids. The Battle Droid is the same. Um, you'll just see that because this one uses the staff, he's got the blaster on the back. And then uh, the other or uh, different uh, using two of the uh, connection arms there just so that 
the uh, figure can connect to the step, and the other one has a mix of the two different types of arms. You are given an extra set of arms um, in the set, so um, you could just switch it out if you want to just have normal battle droids, not ones with the um, uh, two of the same arms. The shock trooper is the same um, as seen in the gunship. Uh, the blaster and accessory is a little bit different with the um, range finding uh, thing than the uh, small blaster there. I've, I'm quite satisfied with the printing on the shock troopers. I think they did them uh, quite uh, well and I quite like them. There's the newer clone face. And yeah, it's a, uh, it's a nice uh, shock trooper. Um, the uh, clones, the phase two clones, I think probably maybe the most hyped up part of this set it could be the droids because the builds are really strong but um just getting phase two clones is pretty cool you've got two variations um in them one with the longer rifle and then the shorter rifle um the torso and legs as expected are the same as the ones that were in the minifigure pack uh, the helmet is the only different thing the mold itself is the same with the helmet holes um, but you do just have a plain uh, helmet, uh, which I think is nice. And yeah, overall, I'm satisfied with these minifigures. I've really liked the super battle droids and the normal battle droids. I love getting battle droids. Um, so to sort of build up a sizable battle droid army along with a clone army, I think is a really cool thing. Getting more of the shock troopers is nice as well. And then I think the phase two clones are nice. I do wish the clones didn't have the helmet holes but uh, I'm at this point getting used to them and I'm satisfied with them because the printing is decent. If the printing was poor whether on the shock trooper or e, it's sort of hard to screw up a plain clone but if that happened then of course I'd have a bit more to complain about but printing wise it's done well. Droids are nice. Um, I guess the only thing I would change is not having helmet holes on them um, but yeah they're uh, good figures and it's nice to get all these figures included in the uh, set. Starting with the droid builds, you've got two of them, I think the best builds of the set. The tri-droid here, I think is done well. Um, the separatist colors, of course, with the gray and dark blue. Um, there's a little bit of uh, suspension there. Um, it's not gonna snap, which is nice. You've got the flick fire missiles, which I feel like we don't really see that often anymore. It can't spin around. I mean, just, they're just stationary there. The turrets at the top do spin around. I think that's a nice feature. And overall, I think it's a well done uh, battle pack build uh, and a well done tri droid. My favorite build of this set and one that I'm excited to build more of is this uh, Separatist step. I do sort of wish it had the Separatist logo on the front of it, um, but uh, it integrates the droid nicely. Um, the little stand it had is nice and the build is well done. Um, I think these are two very well done builds and I'm excited to get more of them, especially that step. Um, and yeah, I, I very much like these builds and they're definitely my favorite from this. Here are the clone builds. The, I'd say the most disappointing builds of these sets. They just sort of feel oversimplified and um, just not overly good. Um, the little turret build I think is fine. Um, it's used a stud shooter, which is sort of expected. We saw it before. Um, you can place a blaster there. It uses a few pieces, just not all that many pieces and it's not overly great. This little um, box is fine. It's got a thermal detonator in it, which is a cool print, but when you've seen it 20 times, it's not overly interesting. Um, the turret build feels very simple, very flat, um, and a bit disappointing. Now, having it in hand, I don't dislike it as much as I did when I originally saw the pictures, but it does still feel incredibly flat and overly simplified. Um, and just not great, because um, I think we've got some strong speeders, especially recently, and in battle packs. The Super uh, Snow Trooper battle pack is one of them. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, the clone builds are all right um, at best. They're, they're not great, um, but I think they're good inclusions into the set, and I feel like you get an evenly matched amount of droid forces and clone forces, which is nice. I just want to quickly show you a side-by-side -side 
of the battle pack that obviously inspired this new battle pack, which is of course inspired by the clone android battle packs, the original battle packs, and of course the builds are as well. The clone ones, you've got the little turret stands, which I think the old one is better, but they're very similar, just using newer parts. Of course, the older one used a blaster because that's what you had. This one used a stud shooter because that's what you got now. Um, the speeders on the other end, it's sort of crazy to me that one from, what, 2009 or eight at this point can be better than the one we get now. Um, I think that speeder is just so much better. I absolutely love it. Is it a great speeder build? No, but I adore it. I think it's great. Um, and yeah, I just want to quick uh, give you a quick comparison to show you the uh, builds from uh, both clone sides of these battle packs many years ago. So that was my review of the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid battle pack. I think it's a very strong battle pack, one of the best I've seen recently. Um, I think the inclusion of the phase just plain phase two clones is a great clone to have in a battle pack. Not the best version they could possibly release, but it is the version they've released here. Um, the super battle droids and battle droids are very nice. I like getting another one of those shock troopers. I think the builds on the droid side are quite well done. And I think the builds on the clones are a bit disappointing, but I think you get an evenly match of clone sides and droid um, sides. And it's a well done Lego Star Wars battle pack. And uh, I'm happy to see this one, and I'd love to see more of these battle packs if they're going to be to the quality and value of this one. I think looking back at it now, the 501st battle pack was quite expensive and very much just playing on fan demand. Whereas this one I feel like is a good value set and you get more value in this I think than you do from just your normal battle packs because this is like two twenty dollars battle packs instead of what would be two $25 battle packs if they were separate ones. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.